Boys, we're back with another Marvel vs. Capcom 2 video. I know I've been spamming the feed with a lot of Marvel 2 lately, but honestly, ever since this game got rollback in emulator, I have been having such a blast playing it, and it's like all I want to play right now. But don't worry, the other fighting games will be coming back soon. Guilty Gear Strive, I'm going to be playing Melty Blood soon when that comes out. So don't go anywhere. But for now... We're going to be talking about Ryu in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and I feel like Ryu is notable in this game for the fact that he is very bad. He's like bottom tier status. Here's Justin Wong's tier list for this game, and you can see Ryu is pretty far down there at the bottom. So why is that? I mean, how many games can you think of where Ryu is bottom tier? I mean, in the Street Fighter games, he's usually mid tier or better. In the other Capcom versus games, he's usually around mid-tier, lower mid-tier. In Marvel 3, he is pretty weak, but really in this game, he is absolute trash. So why is that? We're going to run through some of the reasons here, and then I'm going to show you some match footage that shows why. Even though he might be kind of bad, I'm still really enjoying playing the character. So let's talk about Ryu's weaknesses. So the first reason I think Ryu is pretty bad is his damage. Ryu's damage is very weak. You can see, for one meter, I did, what, like 35%? Most characters can do more than that, you know, meterless. So his damage off launcher is very bad. He's also really bad at hit confirming. So you can see he can't do two hits into launcher. He can't do two hits into stand roundhouse. He can't do it into stand fierce. So he has, like, no good ways to confirm into super or confirm into launcher off of multiple hits so he's going to rely on assists to do hit confirms or he's going to rely on like just getting raw punishes with launcher and stuff like that his moves are so stubby that this is like a major problem for him but that's not to say that everything he has is bad he he has he has a couple things for one thing he has an invincible dragon punch assist which is not that common there are a lot of dragon punch assists that can be interrupted, but his cannot. Uh, his fireball assist is not bad either. I think this is a pretty underrated assist. It leaves the opponent standing, so you can combo off it a lot more easily than ones that knock down. His throw is also not bad. The good characters obviously can usually combo off their throw, and he can't do that because we can't let Ryu combo off of anything, right? Uh, but his throw does stand them up right in front of you. And it's unrollable, so he can go for throw loops. And then if you're mashing throw, he can hit you low when you get up. So he can do some okay mix with his throw. He can also do the Shoto movement where you kind of whiff an air normal and then cancel it into Tatsu. This builds a lot of meter, and it will also block the opponent in the air if they're jumping, or it will smack them on the way down with the Tatsu if they stay grounded. So this is not bad either. But really, the one saving grace that Ryu has overall is this. This is his ground super. His ground projectile super is pretty strong. It's very good for punishing assists. As you can see, it'll hit the character in front and the character behind. That's kind of a rare property. A lot of supers in this game will get blocked by a character in front, so the character in the back doesn't take the damage. But his does not work that way, which is very nice. As you can see, mashing increases the damage that his super does. So if you have a bunch of meters to spend, he's pretty decent at spending them. He can damage their assists. He can damage the point character. It's pretty hard to punish on block. So I would say that's like his number one advantage is he has a good ground super that will punish the opponent and dish out a pretty good amount of damage when done raw. His other supers, uh, I don't know. I don't really want to talk about them. Like, the, these are so hard to combo into. Like, look, it just whiffs. He does have Shin Shoryuken super, also with extremely short range. Very hard to combo into. But if you somehow land this for three meters, you get, like, over 50%. So that's fun. I just don't think it's going to happen that much. And it's not really a good use of meter compared to just saving it for more beams. So for Ryu, I don't know. I think in a format like Ratio, which if you don't know, you have seven points and each character is assigned a point value and your total number of points for your three characters has to add up to seven or less. I think Ryu can be okay in that kind of format because he's a decent support character. He's got decent assists. And when he comes in, he can spend meter very well. He also has a semi-safe DHC 
because this uh, ground super is going to be pretty difficult for most characters to punish. So you can kind of get your point character out safely with him. So those are his major advantages, but really you don't want to be fighting with this guy too much just because you're not going to be doing much damage and you're not going to be mixing the opponent up very effectively. But regardless, I do still kind of enjoy playing the character. I like landing the Shinku Hadoukens. I like landing the throw loops. So I'm going to be including some matches for you that I played online in the rollback netcode Marvel 2 on the Flycast emulator. So I hope you enjoy him, guys. Let me know. Do you like Ryu in this game? Do you disagree with me? Do you think he's not as bad as... As some people make him sound it's possible but let me know what character you'd like to see me cover next and enjoy the matches guys yeah the, the ratio system is fun i agree like playing top tiers is very special don't get me wrong like playing top tiers in this game is unlike anything in any other fighting game it's it's very very unique and special but after you've like only played top tiers for like years it's like you have a whole different game to play when you play uh, when you play the rest of the cast. You know, you really are playing a different game <laughs> with most characters versus the top tiers. That block string is nice. Okay, it hurts. Is this gonna be TOD? No, right? Oh, damn. Bro, I keep messing up. I love that combo. Yo. No, where's my DHC? Chipper. Rip. No punish? It's fine. That did not do very much chip. It's fine. Whew. Does the Geef assist have special properties? Well, I turned Geef into Iron Geef. Geef, Geef can spend one meter to turn iron, which makes him have unlimited armor so he just goes through attacks but the downside is iron geef cannot block but assist can't block anyway so it doesn't matter as long as he's an assist but when iron geef comes in to fight life can be a little bit difficult because he can't block they can just do beam supers from full screen and he can't block them he's got some stuff Get her. OK, 
Okay, but like, what if though? Good bait. Ooh, swag. Let's go, Mega Red. Nice. Okay, that's bad. Okay, okay. Come on, Ryu! I'm ready. Are you kidding? I'm so salty. I'm so salty. I'm done with this game. All right, all right. Just kidding. I'm not done yet. Okay, we're still alive. Oh, what a bad tag! Will this kill? Oh, I cut off the damage! No! Okay. Kind of nasty. This team's kind of sick with it. The thing is, if Zangief dies fast, the team sucks. Ratio versus normal. Obviously, ratio is more diverse. Normally in this game, you only see 10 characters ever. Uh, and in ratio, you see all the characters. So obviously, it's more diverse. The question, is it more fun? I think it's a little more complicated. I think if we if we hadn't been playing top tiers in this game for like 20 years now, people would be a lot less bored, right? Like if the game came out today, I think we would be, you know, the thing that makes ratio so good is that we're kind of tired of the top tiers, right? Oh yeah, by the way, Kizzy K, thank you for the the raid, man. So kind of you. Oh, I thought I'd get away with it. What's up, Kizzy K viewers? You guys like Marvel? Oh, no. I like Marvel except when this is happening to me. When I'm put in the schmixturization station. Yikes, missed the ant here. Ooh, guys! It's gonna be Zangief on a wing and a prayer, man. Alright, protect protect your grappler. Nice jump out. All right, Zangief on a wing and a prayer. Let's go. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's fine. Sometimes you got you have to give some up to create the illusion of drama guys Get real you have to you have to lose some if I just won every game That would be boring, right? So you gotta you know and listen. I have a plan for round start Don't you guys worry? Something We're, we're gonna pull out some tricks here at round start because now I get the switch glitch back 
There, there's a, there's an extra layer of mind games because now I get switch glitch and he doesn't. So don't even, don't even sweat it. Okay, chat. Don't panic. All right. Where's my 360? It would have worked. It would have worked though. All right, it's fine. Grab, grab her. That's what I'm talking about, Omega Red. Not like this. All right, we got like no damage off that. Good punish. I'm worried about my boy. Oh, that's not a launcher. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Re Geef did enough work. He can rest easy. Geef did enough work. Let's go. Oh, nice ant here! I got too cocky! Can we get some chip? Yes! Let's go, boys! Let's go!